hope you're ready for a big adventure because this time we are taking you to the beautiful Exmouth in WA. Let's go. G'day guys and welcome back to This Is Living. So yes, you heard right, we have headed over to WA to Exmouth for the weekend. It's going to be absolutely insanely epic, but before we get into all the lushness of WA and Exmouth, we're currently at the airport and the stress levels are high. I can't even remember the last time that I hopped on a plane, let alone had to like navigate the whole baggage, check-in, drop-off, different gate thing. So, it's gonna be fine though, a couple of beers, calm us down, it should be sweet, but we're gonna take you along for the ride this weekend. A Little bit of a backstory, pretty much some of our best mates, Jordo and Kayla, have decided to travel around the Kimberleys and WA and do all these amazing things, but sadly we could not go with them because we had work commitments. Well, they literally called us about a week ago and said, we're gonna be in Exmouth next weekend, why don't you guys come over? And we're like, you know what, done. We booked flights there and then, sorted out everything else, and we were like, why not? We'll go over to WA for a couple of days. So this is what we're doing. We are here. Is it crazy? Absolutely. But you know what? I can't even justify it. We're just doing it because we want to. So we've got the spear gear. We have packed the bare minimum, like I mean hammocks. That's pretty much it. Swimmers, hammocks and spear gear. That's it. That's all we got. So it should be interesting and an adventure to say the least. So as always, bring you guys along for it and we'll just wing it and see what happens. But I don't know guys, let's go. Now I've literally got to go and find Tom because he's walked off and left me because I was embarrassing him with the camera. <laughs> so I'm sure if I go to the bar I'll find him. I found him. Copy the snacks. Got the snacks. Snack ones are sorted. Alright guys, we've officially landed down in WA Exmouth. We've got the sign there to prove it. We're not bullshitting, we're actually doing this for a weekend trip. I'm still bloody pinching myself, I can't believe we're doing this. And like I said, our great mates Jordo and Kayla are here, over here, in their rig, travelling around the Kimberley. So we thought, why the hell not, we'll come over and join them. So it's going to be a bloody epic time. I can't wait to see what we get up to. We're hitting up some mad little camp spots, so it should be unbloody real what do we reckon guys pretty off tap it's yeah. absolutely <laughs> off tap guys <laughs> i'm a bit, excited it's a bit of a wild wild thing to do but it, i reckon just send it just send it that's it, that's it. all right let's hit the road yeah i want to i want to get a fish <laughs> gonna hit the road in an absolute beast of a mitsubishi and um <laughs> never thought i'd say those words yeah we'll see what we get up to and bring you guys along like we always do i'm very excited we're in the big what is this thing I think it's a Mitsubishi Challenger or some shit. <laughs> We're in the big Mitsubishi Challenger. I can't even begin to describe the amount of happiness that Tom and I were feeling at this point. Driving down the Ningaloo Reef Coast with some of our best mates, just ready to get out there and explore. So we decided before we actually got to camp, we were going to go to one of the beaches and have a bit of a swim because we couldn't wait to get in that water.
So we haven't really got a plan at this stage. We kind of have a plan. Like we know we're camping tonight, but we're pretty much traveling south down the Ningaloo Reef coast. And it is just like turquoise blue water everywhere you look like. It's just, it's just insane. I've never seen water like this in my life. We um, we're currently at one of the beaches. <laughs> I can't remember which one, but it is a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. So the crew's gonna get their snorkeling gear on and we're just gonna have a little bit of a float around the beautiful reefs and see what we can find. So trust Tom, he's found food straight off the bat. We got a couple of fresh oysters. Yeah, I tested a few of the big ones first. Oh, did you? Just to make sure they're all right. But yeah, you can eat that little one. <laughs> Cheers. It's obviously a bloody real shame that we can't get a feed to the sanctuary, but it's still pretty awesome to see us. And that huge roper, God of the monster. guys a little bit of an update for you all I'm on the cans so this could go downhill quite quickly but um what an epic first day honestly like I know we didn't get to do any spear fishing or anything like that but even just going and being able to snorkel with all those fish and turtles and stuff is just like <clears throat> like Tom and I still can't believe that we are currently in Exmouth it's just we're insane but um but anyway like I said we have just pulled up at camp and it is a great little campsite. We're just trying to figure out the sleeping arrangements because it's going to be pretty red hot. Um, as you guys have probably gathered, I haven't got my car here, haven't got the rooftop tent, didn't have room to pack, put a swag on the plane. So the plan is, is we have brought two of those tiny little pack up um, hammocks 
and we've got to figure out where to put the hammocks we'll probably go from like bull bar to a tree or something like that but yeah that's that's going to be our accommodation for the next couple of nights full hippie spec back to basics sleeping in hammocks with a sleeping bag hopefully we don't get eaten alive by mozzies but that is the plan um so yeah but bloody what a what an unreal spot i just still can't bloody believe it guys but it should be good i don't know what we're going to get up to for the rest of the afternoon i think tom wants to go for a fish or something or other jordo has got his ice maker out we're on the cans so anything could happen guys but let's let's go ice machine taking an ice machine you're a yuppie that's a lot of high maintenance but it's worth it when you're knocking up gins <laughs> and you got hot bottles of tonic and in the nice just, just is, hits a spot yeah, i agree Time to set up the sleeping arrangements. We've left the boys to their devices for fishing. So the plan is we're going to use this tree and of course the Mitsalo canopy. I think it's so versatile. It's so versatile. <laughs> Place your bets, guys. Do we think we're going to get eaten alive by mozzies tonight? <laughs> Possibly. Probably about 100%. But we're, you know what, we're staying positive and it's going to be fine. Nope. Tom actually had a great idea. He's just like, oh, we should try and put the hammocks together so we can like be close. <laughs> That's the cutest thing you've ever heard, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably just threw him under the bus. How good's your knot tying skills? Should, we, very good. should we try it? <laughs> should we test it out? I reckon that's pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> A little, a little bit. A little bit. I was hitting the deck. All right. All right. right we're gonna. Knots, yeah. <laughs> if you can't tie knots, tie lots, Kayla. Don't you know the rule? Oh, okay. Tie lots. We'll try it. Try again. Try. Take two. Good luck. We've tied more knots. I think it's holding. I think we're all right. Oh, it's making a noise. Oh. <laughs> Watch me get sandal in Tom's Imagine hammock. Try and roll over I'm gonna stack it big time. It was sweet. Winner, winner! All right, I think it's beer o'clock now. <laughs> so, so baby, how'd the fishing go this time? Yeah, successfully yeah. lost uh, 60 bucks worth of lures and caught <laughs> donuts. <laughs> More fish on the east coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's true, eh? <laughs> We're on. What do you got? I think Kayla's trying to poison me because these things are. What are they? 3.8 standard drinks in one drink. So we've got ice. So we've got this. First night in the hammock. Just so gonna tuck your elbows in. Jordan stuck on me in. <laughs> oh god, Dev. Look at this. And then three days. Fucking You reckon? Off I'm envious. Yeah. <laughs> I'll swap ya. Good night, mate. <laughs> Oh, big stretch. Mm. Good morning. Morning. How'd you go sleep Pretty in good. The I just realised though that I had this boot under my ass the majority of the night, <laughs> and I thought my butt was just like sagging on the ground. Actually, I can Shut show you. Shut rock of the rooftop tent, Jordo. <laughs> Get out of it, you filthy animal. Yeah, I thought my butt was touching the ground when I woke up this morning, but it's just a boot. Why? It was very warm. And I'm pretty sure bad. I slept with my mouth open. Yeah, Tom snored the whole night, but other than that, not bad. Probably so comfortable too, because I was running on like two hours of sleep from the plane flights, but 
still not a bad place to wake up and table service straight off the bat <laughs> coffee mate cheers We were all so excited to get to our next destination, which was none other than Winder Bandy Point. So we all packed up camp and decided we are going to hit the road first thing in the morning because we also had to do a river crossing in our good old Mitsubishi Challenger. So we thought, yeah, we'll just follow Schultz down. As soon as we get onto the sand, he stops to air down his tyres. <laughs> so now we're in a car with low profile tyres. It does have full drive, admittedly, but we just had to stop in the sand. <laughs> Mitsubishi's fine, mate. It's a beast. We've uh, we've actually named it too. It's Karen. <laughs> it's uh, it's I, a Karen car. I think of a more fitting name. As soon as you get in the thing, it's yelling at you to put your seatbelt on. <laughs> anyway. So uh, Karen's going to do us good today. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a um, low tide crossing we're going to do here. Uh, it's going to save us about 100 kilometres of driving, backtracking further up north to get down to the next southern point so have had a look at the map when we get to that point we can be on the south side of that point so yeah like like I said earlier there um is a like there's a lot of sanctuary zones down the coast of Exmouth so you've obviously got to be really careful and do your research and find out exactly where you can spear but this next campsite we're going to um, we're actually able to go spear fishing finally just gotta wait for Schultz to bloody do his tires <laughs> Oh, Rach is going to get out and tell him how to do it. <laughs> Michael, no, you have to do the rear tyres first. <laughs> do you drive onto the sand to air down? <laughs> it's really good. I didn't realise the big girl had so much weight in her. She, didn't, she just stopped. <laughs> I wasn't going to push it. I thought I'll just air down now before I get bogged. We'll, get, we'll be safe. Well, Jordo's airing down too. Oh, is she soft? Send it. Yeah, Karen. I thought you just like perch it there so I could go across. Oh, Lord help me. I wonder if this thing has toe points. So we've sussed out, this is our little water crossing and it's like ankle deep, it's not It's not bad at all. So I'm sure Karen will do fine with it. But um, yeah, plan is we're gonna head across and aim for, you can't probably see it, the rocks over there and stay to the left because that's gonna be the shallowest. And then I think we've got, how many k's is it to the next place? Oh, no, I've got no idea, I'm no, no idea, but then we gotta oh. do a bit of bush driving. Oh, Skittles. Thank Bulk you. Skittles. Bulk Skittles. We'll go do a bit of driving to get to the next point, but um, but yeah, it's all part of the adventure. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. Send it, mate. Send it. We got the Karen tracks anyway. We're on. <laughs> we got the Max tracks. We're good. She's eating it up. Lovely. Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that salt water. All right, we're crossed. I'm pretty sure the track is pretty easy going from here, so let's send it. Kaza. Kaza, let's go, Kaza. On hire car loves creek crossing. <laughs> <laughs> the beast. Yeah, yeah like 150, 150. <laughs> let's glide across, glide across the top. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. And just like that, we're on our way. We passed a lot of capable four-wheel drives where the drivers would simply just shake their head and laugh and give us the wave. And realistically, they were thinking, what in the world are you doing out here in that little car? But we did not care. We were on top of the world.
scenery in this next part is something that I've never experienced before in my life. You literally feel like you're in the middle of outback Australia, but then you look to your right and you see nothing but turquoise, blue, water and beaches. I think it has to be one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. This is living, mate. I'm very excited. Yeah. You wouldn't be that. dead for quits, would you? No. Nah. Hey? I don't know what that means, but yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've arrived at Windabandy Point for our last night of camping with these group of absolute legends. And let me tell you, I think it's pretty hard to beat a spot like this. I've never seen something more beautiful in my life. So we're going to walk down south a bit to a point where we can actually spearfish. And we're going to jump in and hopefully we're going to catch some fish for dinner and do a huge cook up for our last night here. So I'm very excited. Let's get it. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. Catch you some dinner. Hopefully. White tip reef shark. Oh my god. That was the first white tip reef shark experience. That's right, it wasn't a code brown, so we're doing well. <laughs> it was a little bit of a puppy. <laughs> 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 now the boys were like, oh, what's out for that white tip? Yeah, I was like, yeah, copy. Oh, did they actually say yeah. that? Oh, fuck it out. No, it's a, bit, it's a bit quiet. There are lots of uh, parrotfish around, but it's so shallow, like it's ridiculously shallow, so I don't really know what we're going to do. Apparently there's a couple of goatfish getting around, so we might cook those up for dinner, but... There we go, keep paddling. Sadly, not much luck came to the spearfishing. 
we um, underestimated how actually shallow it was. Like, I'm still a fair way from shore, and I've been walking for a little while now. Like, I still got to get all the way back there. I did see an awesome little reef shark though, white tip reef shark. It's actually not so little, he was quite big. And he didn't really want to say good day, he kind of just kept swimming. But um, Kayla, yeah, Kayla was behind me, and I think she almost had a code brown in her pants because she came up right behind her. But, but um, but yeah, I saw a couple of really nice parrotfish out there, but they're actually not allowed to shoot them here, they're protected. So, but it was awesome to see them out there, some really good sized ones. I saw a couple of spangled emperors, but nothing really worth trying to have a shoot at. Um, that's all right, we've still got plenty of food for dinner. I think Tom's out there still trying, typical. Doesn't know when to give up. But I think it's definitely past year o'clock. So I just think the worst way is to bloody spend a Saturday to see that much. How good is this? No way, we're literally walking back in. There's all dolphins here just playing around. See so if they want to say good day. So fast, come on, top. That was bloody epic. That was so cool. One literally saw him pine, just like looked at me and was like, hey, how are you going? Gosh, I love it now. I think I've made, I think I've made the decision that we need to move over here. Just enjoying the sun there, eh, Tom? Just sun yeah. out. <laughs> Stuck in a workshop 24-7, you've got to take that vitamin D when you can get it. Well, guys, it's been an unreal afternoon just cruising up here at Winter Bandy Point. We're going to head back to camp now, sort the camp out, sort our hammocks out, and have one last WA sunset. It's, of course, it's been a super short trip, but, like, you can't ask for much better than what's been happening, but it's definitely not going to be the last time we will be back, so how good. Grab the fire pit, sunset coming down, tins going in. Bloody ripper. God, I wish I stayed in Sydney. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> okay. I really like that WA sunset, I just want to get a little bit closer look. <laughs>
well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> In and out. I'm actually really sad that we're going. Like waking, we woke up in the hammocks again this morning, and we were kind of like, we're going to miss this. Hundred <laughs> percent. Waking up to like this, in the middle of the Exmouth outback, while you're right on the water with such a amazing group of friends, is just like. Anyway, I'm glad we did it. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, definitely one of the better spur of the moment ideas we've had. <laughs> definitely worth doing. Um, but I d we've been talking about it while we're here and we're like, we're definitely coming back. So this will not be the last time the WA sees us. Might even, you know, bring Betty over, bring a new boat over. Possibly. Do a big mission over here for a couple of weeks. But um, I don't know, it's just been bloody unreal. Honestly, couldn't have asked for a better couple of days. Yeah, you, you sort of expect it to be beautiful over here, but you expect the photos not to be, you know, you expect the photos to be better than it looks, but it's actually that good. It's just unreal. Like. Yeah anyway but anyway guys we're going to finish it there i yeah, hope you liked it our... yeah we do we've got a bloody couple of dirt roads we've got to drive back in old karen try and make our flight um and then head back over to sydney for work tomorrow so <laughs> anyway i hope you guys um enjoyed the little vlog little travel thing little spare of the moment like i said there'll be future adventures so if you want to subscribe to the channel go for gold and um yeah drop us a comment about anything <laughs> tell us how crazy we are and um we'll catch you guys next time see you in the next round <laughs> cheers all right guys thanks for having us see you back in sydney enjoy the rest of your holiday see you back in winter time <laughs> i'm not looking forward to going back to winter oh my lord the rain the, the, rain, the floods are in sydney at the moment you know what let's just cancel the flight and stay here yeah. don't tell me don't tell me that's it just go to service sorry can't come can't come, <laughs> can't come back to work <laughs> see you soon Liv's trying to make me cry. Get in the car, the first song that bloody comes on. <laughs> Send me on my way. <laughs> it truly was a bittersweet feeling as we drove away from our friends and tried to navigate our way back to the main highway. Bitter in the fact that we just blatantly did not want to leave, but sweet in the fact that we knew we had made our mind up and we'd be back one day very soon. Given the fact that there were a lot of dirt roads we had to travel before we actually hit the main highway, our good mate Schultze decided to follow us back in his big rig just in case something went wrong. And sure enough, it did. She's... No bueno. <laughs> She's dead flat, so... Yeah, bud. Time to change tyre. How good. <laughs> this is living, mate. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> Good for another 10,000 you reckon? The first one got us 240 k's <laughs> so hopefully this one's good for another 240. <laughs> we just got to make it to the airport. She's a good old girl. <laughs> we almost got there. Yeah. Alright, anyway, we should be right now, hopefully no more, <laughs> hopefully no more hiccups, and we're on the way to the airport. <laughs>